All right, guys, so mirrors are completely on. Caps are installed, painted. They look great. And I'm going to flip you guys around and show you guys what it looks like. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Or as always, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. I'm super, super excited about today's video. As you can see here, we got a big old box from Boost Auto Parts. And I'm going to open it up and show you guys what's in it. Okay. So in this box, got some stickers. It's always the best right there. Boost Auto Parts was amazing enough to send me something I've wanted a long time for this truck. And that is newer style tow mirrors. They look good. They've got the turn signal in them. And the ones they sent me, pretty much they sent me the works. Like this thing's got almost every option that you can get. These have the LED switchbacks in here. So they're white when they're just running lights and then when they flash, they're orange. But they have a new sequential switch back in here now that when it blinks, it chases itself. I'm super stoked, can't wait to get these installed in the truck. But as you can see, there's no caps here. And that's because I opted for the paintable caps. You can get three different options of these. You can get the kind you paint yourself, straight black or chrome. I went with this because I figured it just looked better white with the truck. This is something I've been wanting to do to the truck for a long time. Real quick before we get into this video, huge, huge shout out to Boost Auto Parts for sending these out. This video literally would not be possible if they didn't send these out. So that being said, let's hop into it, start getting these old ones out. And now to get these off, it's fairly easy. You gotta pull this off, pull your lock out, and then there's a bolt right here, and I think a bolt up in here that you just zip out. Okay, so that was easy enough. I could use my nails to do it. If you don't have nails, flathead screwdriver, but easily if you're using a flathead, you don't wanna break any of these clips. Or if you have a plastic panel tool, that would probably be ideal. So now, all you're gonna have to do is remove this little bolt here. And then mine actually broke off because when I got these door panels, they didn't have it, but there will be a little brace and a bolt up in here behind this lock that you'll have to get out to. I believe they're seven millimeters. All right, that's out. That was a seven, by the way. You also want to pull this part off too. And then all you'll do is just slide up and pull out. And then the next thing, you're gonna to want to undo all your window switches. Which all those are real simple, it's just kind of have a little clip on it you push down okay so now that all that's out you're gonna have this little light it's gonna be connected down there and you'll have all your window switches the only one that's a little bit complicated is the long black one but all you got to do is just pull the little gray clip back and it unhooks itself and you can set your door panel to the side so now that that's all unhooked we can start focusing on the mirror I'm gonna pull this little Pretty sure it's like some sound deadening stuff, so I mean, you don't want to lose that. Set that somewhere safe. And all these are going to be 10 millimeters. Because as I can already see, my mirror is starting to fall. So it is completely loose now. You can go ahead and get the old wiring. Got these two. Go, go ahead and get the old wiring unhooked. All right. Now I can pull that old mirror out. So here's the old mirror. You've got all this. And um, that's just the seal between the mirror and the door. And it's off. Like I said, there was really nothing wrong with this mirror, but I really wanted to upgrade it because I really like the way those new mirrors look. So as you can see, that is the outside and that is very, very dirty. So real quick, I'm gonna clean that up and then we'll get back to installing the new mirrors. Here's the new mirror. I uh, wrapped it back up in this just because I don't want to have it you know, touching anything and I don't want to get it all dirty while I'm installing it. You want to go ahead and feed all your wires through. And real right before I put this in, 
I didn't realize it, but I was going to the box and they actually do provide new hardware. So if you lose one of those old bolts, not that big of a deal. They do provide new bolts in the kit. So what I'm gonna do, since I don't have a partner, I'm gonna put this in and probably be easier if I would roll my window down, but I didn't think that far ahead. So as I'm supporting the mirror, I'm gonna come through and thread on the top far enough that it starts to hold the mirror on. So here we are back on the inside and I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of the bolts. All right, so now the mirror itself is installed. So that's a win on that. It's on there, you can wiggle it. That is dirty. Now we can get into the connections. I think the blue and black one plugs straight in to your door panel and that will do your blinkers and all that. All that's plug and play. And then I believe this one, the orange, white, and gray are for your floods and all that other stuff. Okay, so here's where it gets a little bit tricky. All of it's easy, plug and play, bolt in, bolt out. But if you have what I got, I have the running lights, which is the orange wire here, your reverse and dome, which is the white wire, and then your ground, which is the gray. So you're gonna wanna run the orange and white, which the white I'm gonna do something else with, and I'll show you here in a second, but you're gonna wanna run the orange up under your hood to the running lights fuse. They give you a fuse tap to run that through. I'm gonna get to running this through the firewall and you have a boot up under your firewall. I might get the camera up under there, see if I can't show you, but you've got a boot up in there. You can go through, especially if you have like a sub or anything, you can snake that through where you have your sub. So first things first, you're gonna wanna run this down through your door and through your boot that seals off your door from the rest of the truck. And there are a couple different ways you can do this. So as you can see, I'm gonna try to end up going through right here and then up through this hole in the door, up through this and then into here, which will be right behind this kick panel. Okay, so what I actually ended up doing was getting just a wire hanger and some electrical tape, I'm just taping it up to the end of the wire hanger, shoving it through there and then just pulling it out. That worked wonders. Just be careful not to damage the boot because if you start shoving it through there, it'll you know start causing nicks. But you're just careful, it'll be no problem. So all those are through. I can untape those, go ahead and shove it through there, and then pull it out from under there, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I went ahead and put that passenger on so that way I got that all that other wiring ran through to there. Now what I'm thinking I'm going to do, because this orange wire isn't quite long enough to go, because this is the wire for the running lights, it's not quite long enough to go through the firewall up into the fuse box. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to splice it into this one. This is the driver's side. First I'm going to run it through to the engine bay and then figure out where's a good point to splice it. So that's what I'm going to do with that one. All the other ones are plenty long enough. And then I'll show you guys how to wire in this guy too, because this is going to be for, you can't see the mirror, for those little pods on the mirrors. So I guess let's get to routing that up and I'll show you where the boot is under the hood. Okay, so here we are under the hood. Our panel is right here. And if you can see, where that red wire is coming out at, that's my amp wire. And right next to that is the boot for you know all your wiring to go inside your cab. So the same hanger that I used to wrap through there, I'm gonna use to shove down through that boot. And then you should see it up under the dash. And then you're gonna tie your wire to that, pull it on through. Okay, so as you can see, it's running down through there, through that boot, go into the cab and you can see it coming out right there. Now it hit right up here, but all you gotta do is come up here and look and you can see it smacking that. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did with that. I'm gonna tape it up here and then just pull it on through. 
and remember it's your orange wire if if you have running lights again if you don't have running lights you can you can skip this whole part of the video but if you have running lights go ahead and do this all right so now i got attached to the other end i can go ahead and start pulling all right and there's my wire attached to my hanger be real careful if you start getting a lot of resistance stop because it's probably hanging up on this wire and you don't want to damage it anywhere else so there's that and if you're worried about what fuse to run it to don't worry boost auto parts has a paper in there that tells you exactly which fuse to tap into now if you're like me you don't like a lot of wires in your engine bay like i don't like a whole bunch of wires hanging out everywhere or like coming up through here so i just took my hanger kept it taped there's a little access hole right here that i went down put it through and i found a little spot that it comes out right down here so i just kind of ran it back up under through here and then you're gonna tuck it away a little more because i can still still got room to tuck it up back in here but that'll kind of keep the wire itself protected as well and keep everything kind of looking a little bit factory then obviously comes down through there make sure to tuck your boot back in so that we know the same amount of water to be getting in your cab and then here's that i've already got this stripped off so that's ready to be put into the fuse tap and then to be tapped in now it gives you your wiring instructions here signal only that's if you don't have running lights and that just has the white wire and the gray one but then since i've got the dual function switchbacks i have the orange wire and so that tells you exactly which one to run it to see my camera will focus see 03 to 07 classic is going to be the trl park fuse and then if you have an 07 and a half to 14 it's going to be lt park fuse so i'm going to go ahead and wire that in all right so now you can see i got that tapped in i'm going to add a few uses here now what we're going to do is set to tap into the trailer park fuse my camera will focus i don't know what's going on with it but it's that top one it's 15 amp so if you're looking at your fuse box from the driver's side panel you come right in and it's going to be this one right here i just got a pair of pliers pull that out like so then you just grab your add a fuse the fuse that i took out and put it in the empty slot in the add a fuse go ahead and take this push it down and there we go that's all installed good to go so come back in the car i'm going to need to zip tie most of this up but i'm going to tap into it with this one so i'm gonna go through get all this up where i want it and then come back through and figure out where i want to tap that all right so what i ended up doing over here and you can go ahead and put these back on now but to get them off, I know I didn't say it, just get a flathead and you see these, these pieces, that's where the clips are. So just push in right there and that whole thing will pop off just real quick there. So all I did was I wrapped it up there and the glove box, this little flap, push it over, whole thing comes down. So I've got it going up there, up around that harness, through around the crash bar coming down and then through there but from right there I can wrap it back up around all that wiring it'll all be tucked away nice and simple no wiring showing anywhere we're almost done it's really not that bad I'm just not a big fan of wiring so I kind of mosey on through it but really not bad they give you all the instructions you need as far as wiring and then even if you're having trouble, they've got videos on YouTube that I'll link in the description below. Cause you've got this one, which again, I'll show a little bit later, but then they've also got the videos on how to wire all this, where they want you to wire it to and all that good stuff, which I have in the instructions too, but you know, some people are visual learners. I get that. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and attach my ground which see right here that's where they want you to attach it to so i'm gonna go ahead and get to getting that off 
But first, you're gonna wanna grab both of your gray wires from each side and then strip the ends. And Boost Auto Parts give you, gives you a little eyelet to use. All right, so now that little bolt's off. That is a 10 millimeter bolt. You got your little eyelet. Go ahead and just put that on there like so. And then tighten your bolt back up. So if you did what I did and you have the dome light and reverse on your mirrors, that's where this little guy comes in at. So what we're gonna do with this is you've gotta have the two outputs coming in here, and those two, and then this one will connect both of your whites. But you've gotta have the power coming from your reverse plus the power coming from your dome. So I'm gonna tap into, says here, that most use the trailer backup fuse. So that's what I'm gonna do for the reverse. And then they say there's a gray and black wire. So I'm gonna strip this one back and try to find it. And then I'll let you guys know when I find that one. And that's what I'm gonna tap in for the dome. So I'm gonna get to doing that. If you have the dome and reverse capabilities, when you're running your orange wire up through, go ahead and run that other one up too, cause you will have to get into the fuse box and get into the trailer backups, which I'll show you that fuse in a second. So it's gonna be, this one right here if you're looking come right up that one right there in the middle so that's going to be what you're going to tap into for that so i'm going to go ahead and get to doing that and then i'm going to go try to find that wire and i'll come back show you what it looks like when it's done okay so initially i thought it was this one that was plugged into that box but it is not it is going to be this one that's off to by itself it kind of runs up here and up into the dash so I got my gray and black striped wire here. Now I've got a lot of white wire left. So what I'm actually gonna do is cut off a piece of this, just enough to reach from here down to my three-way connector and use that. So that way I don't have to use any more wire. I did have to get different wire. Like I had to have my wire run up through there for the backup power. So it's not that big of a deal, but just letting you know if you do have all these connections. So yeah, just kind of connect it here, bring it down, measure it to where I want it, and then snip it off, so. All right guys, so as you can see, it's all hooked up. I got my orange. That's not two oranges running into one, that's one wire that I had to, that's where I spliced into it, so I just kind of folded it in half and electrical taped it up. This is my two-way. These two are out to my mirrors, which is the orange wire. And then the two blues that go out, this one is, I believe, the one coming from the dome lights. And this one is the one coming from under the hood, that reverse fuse. I had to extend this little red one just because the wire was a little too big. That connector, but no biggie. Got it all connected there. Got it connected there. I'm going to hook it all up. I might just try it without the door panels, although I won't be able to see if my turn signals work because that's in with the door. But I might turn the lights on, see if they all turn on, see what happens, so let's go. All right guys, so there they are. Those are the running lights, they're on. I've just got them on my blinkers for right now. Both of them working good. I'll show you the switchbacks here in a minute. But, I mean, there it is. And I can also show my floods. That is with the dome lights on, so that's showing that that's working good. Let's go ahead and try the reverse. All right. And there's the reverse, so those are both working. Let me get my door panels and all that back on, and then we can see how the signals look. Okay, so I got everything plugged up. I don't have the door panels like all secured and everything yet, just in case anything's wrong, I gotta pull them back off. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Turn signal, all right, there we go. See it working there. Now my, these are on because my dome lights are on, but that's what I like to see, look at that. That is sick. And then obviously when you turn off your blinker, it goes right back. So as you can see, that one is still white. And I got the, the dual switchbacks going on. That is sick. Now I'm gonna try the other one, see if it works. There you go, you got the dual switchback action going on. That is amazing. Let's see if the one on the mirror works. Yep. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and button up the door panels, get all them back right, and then we'll come back to it. All right, guys, so mirrors are completely on. Caps are installed, painted, they look great. And I'm gonna flip you guys around, show you guys what it looks like. So there they are. This is probably one of my favorite things I've done to the truck so far. And they just look amazing. I do notice they are a little tilted, like most are when you put these on. So I will be probably either making a video or maybe like a short on here of just leveling those out. It's not hard at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what they look like lit up. And I will be showing a night shot too. It's just obviously not night right now. If you notice, when I open my door, that comes on. It also comes on in reverse. I have that little module under there. So go ahead and those are my running lights. As you can see. And then now probably to my favorite part, you got the signal in the mirror. And then the sequential switchbacks. Those are sick. The smooth transition. They chase each other nicely. They're not glitchy and flashy. Got these switchbacks down here. Thing of beauty. I love these mirrors. They're real solid too. If you notice when I shut that door, this thing didn't move. They are real, real solid, like factory solid. They fold nicely. They're not, you know, too loose or they're not, you're not like trying to beat it in if you need to fold them in. They fold real nice. They are manual folding. I'm not sure if they have a power folding option for these trucks or not. I know it's kind of rare these trucks have power folding mirrors anyways. I know they have them, but they look amazing. I'm super, super happy with them. Again, huge shout out to Boost Auto Parts for making this whole video possible. Without them, this truck would still have the stock mirrors on it. If you guys watch any of my videos, you know I've gotten a few things from Boost Auto Parts. They've always been great. Shipping's always super fast. If there's ever a problem, they do not hesitate to correct it. And they're just all around a good company, at least in my experiences, to have anything to do with. I've gotten my key fobs. You've seen the 2015 style and now the 2020 style, which is amazing. The, where my fog lights come on with the running lights, that's from them. And then obviously now the mirrors. They've got tons of stuff for a whole bunch of different trucks and everything. So go check out their site. I'll leave a link to these mirrors in my description below. Also, if you buy these mirrors, I'll leave a link to the install video. If you guys get these mirrors and need a little bit of help, they get way more in depth than I did. So it'll kind of get you through. It's a real good video, but I'll also leave that in the link in the description. Their stuff is high quality. You know, it's not going to fall apart on you. This stuff is made. It almost looks like it's a factory. Like I've called GM and they sent me out some mirrors and I highly, highly recommend them to anybody wanting to do anything like that. If toe mirrors aren't your style, then, you know, no biggie, but I'm a big fan of them. I've always liked them. And especially once this thing gets lifted and everything, which I do plan on, but it's not happening right now. It's going to look even, even better, but I think that's, that's just sick. I think that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, huge, huge shout out to Boost Auto Parts. Don't forget to go check them out. Definitely worth giving their site a visit. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. Follow me on all my socials, Instagram, Twitter, my channel email now if you need to contact me for any reason at all. I have a Facebook page you can go follow. Don't hesitate to leave a comment down below if you have any questions about anything I did. I know I didn't go super, super in depth with it, but as always, I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Right after this, I'll probably show the night shots, so don't click away just yet. You're gonna be seeing the night shots of this thing. That'll be kind of the outro of this video, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna look absolutely sick. That's gonna wrap it up, guys. Thank you so much for watching again. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this pushes you to go grab a set of these things, because they're, they're awesome. So stay tuned for the night shots. That's gonna be it for me for right now. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time.